Hello and welcome my beautiful scorpion shape. I hope you're doing amazing and you are well prepared for today's workout. It's 30 minutes, full body, everything you need to become stronger and yeah, simply have better abilities in all of your pole tricks. So I want you to warm up a little bit beforehand. Today you need your pole on static if you want a mat and anything else is basically up to your choice. <laughs> Have some water ready. I will be working for 40 seconds on and then have a slight 20 second rest in between. We're gonna go through 15 exercises, have a little rest and then do everything once again. So go all out, it's only 30 minutes. You will see it's gonna go by so quickly. So I would suggest get your pull ready, get your mat ready, and we will be starting with our legs. So here we go. I'm gonna start my timer and then let's go. First exercise, we stand in a very wide squat and then we'll simply do weight shifts from left to right. And you want to push yourself out with the leg that is bent. Now we'll be alternating sides, but you are holding on to the pole and just like a very simple grip. And then jumping up, opening yourself up towards the pole. You can do two, three jumps and then change side. Going into deep squat and then you want to lean forward and bring that leg up, squat, other leg. So really push in your butt, okay? It wants to be very strong. Let's go. You can hold on to your pole. We'll get away from the pole and we'll simply do a lunge and then folding forward. You can bring your leg up again if you want to and then lunge back, arms up, bring it back, feet together. Let's go. Lunge, forward fold, leg up, coming up, coming back in your lunge. Right, bringing both hands against the pole, 
You want to come into a little back bend right here. And all you want to do is to pose your leg for a couple seconds and then switch your side. Let's go. I will tell you when to switch. So just keep pulsing. Three, two, one, switch. Other leg, pulsing. grip and then also here hold so twisting your grip pushing you out and then holding 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 until we can no more and then switch sides <laughs> if you've got sweaty hands this is not the easiest but it's conditioning all right Alright, shake it out. We'll be sitting back and you want to pull yourself in with one hand. If it's too difficult, use both. Okay, but you want to really sit back, really get that weight that you can pull in. Let's do this. Sitting back, arm straight, pulling you in with your back muscles. Really like doing a row. So your shoulder blades are together, no run back. I just grabbed the pain, I'm really going for an even go. Jesus took the reins, cause God ain't going out of season though. You can join our table, I know it's no fun to eat alone. Even if you feel alone, you don't gotta be alone. Right. getting to the floor and we'll do alternating push-ups you can do them on your knees no problem but with the one hand you're holding on to the pole and the other one is out to the side doing a push-up they're easier and then switch let's go you can also start out on your feet and coming to your knees if it's too difficult Make sure your hips are in line. We'll do dips, but on the pole, okay? So you really want to hold on with your thumbs facing each other to the pole and also switching midway through what hand is on top. From here, your elbows are together, so you don't want to come out. They're together and you want to come down and up as much as possible, okay? And we are switching the hand that's on top. Shake it out. One more exercise for your upper body. 
which is we are in a puppy pose and then you want to push yourself up into down dog yeah without shifting your hips too much just try that if it's too hard you can do one arm at a time but try for both All right, turn around, lying on your back. We'll go into pike crunches, holding onto your pole with your hands, bringing your feet left and right on the pole. And from here, you want to bring yourself up and down. We'll stay here, we'll lower our legs, lift them, and bring them over to one side. Lower, over to the other side. If you cannot lower them, while your back is staying on the floor, you might as well just tip your toes, all right? But try for the harder version. Simply turn around, we'll go for toe reaches, but on the pole and also alternating. So you want to come up, reach your toes or your ankle and then change. You can also reach for the pole. Let's turn around once more, going into a dragon flag as much as you can. So you're holding on, really holding on to the pole this time, bringing your pelvis up in a straight line and then bringing your body down or like that until you're lying on the floor, bringing you up again, straight body, keeping it that way. And you can stagger one leg. Come up. Now, 
You simply want to hang from the pole and bring one leg in front, either fully extended or bent. Your choice. Sure to change your hands. Halfway done, 15 minutes. Just like that, are gone. <laughs> and we'll do another 15 minutes. See, it wasn't that long. So let's simply go for the second round. This is the last time I said this before. We can't go on, can't do this anymore. You asking my serious, yeah, I'm not feeling this. I'm getting sick of this whiskey, I'm sipping it. This is the last time. I don't want to do it no more. I don't want to do it no more. Got a few shots that I still need to pull. We will be starting with our weight shifts. We have a very wide stance. So we've got like seven seconds left. Get ready, get to your pole, and we'll shift weight from left to right. There we go. You can start quite slowly, really feeling how our legs are working now. Shaking it out, we'll have our true grip, finger pointing downward, your elbow is bent, and we'll do our handspring jumps. <laughs> so you simply want to bring that. Lifting one leg up at a time. <laughs> Ten seconds. Get ready. Five, four, and squat. Slowly coming up, lifting your leg as high as possible, engaging your glutes. Lunge while being forward folded and going into a little back bend. Five seconds, come on top to the front of your mat. Forward fold, lunge back, arms up. And this time we'll just stay like that. 
forward fold or the leg back. stretch on the pole <laughs> with your arms up little back bend chest turn towards your pole and then bring one leg up pulsing before we switch midway through let's get it just pulse bring your leg as high as possible Five, three, before switching to other leg. Legs are done. We'll come into our twisted grip hold. I'm just holding it up. Right, really pushing yourself out of the bottom hand and bringing the shoulder in on your top hand. Here we go. with one hand, Whew. breathe, shake it out, it's really getting heavy on the shoulders, isn't it? Stand right next to your pole, you want to sit back in a deep squat, and pulling you back with one hand, remember shoulder blades are together, it's like a row. Right. Coming to the floor, alternating push up. One hand grabs the pole, the other one is on the side, and then we switch. You know, it's kind of like like that movement. <laughs> All right, five seconds. Choose your starting hand, get ready. You always have the option to go onto your knees. Everything is straight. Glutes and abs engaged. Yes, standing up our dips, remember, on the pole. Whew. We'll be switching the hand that's on top again. And the further your feet are out, the harder it gets. So you can experiment a little bit with that. Get ready. And then bring yourself back. And really engage your arms here. So really feel 
into these little muscles going slow moved on turning the page new spot she's burning the sage if he knocks she'll turn him away said he's never begged well he's learning today that's it been living with less than a bit off a wish to make the wrong thing fit but it's hard head stick and the stars don't mix and his heart don't tick like her so quick when it fills up oh when it's real she a real one yeah had a deal now the deal's done Time to get a feel for the abs, got a peel and a tattoo sick. Get jit is like a rookie again. In the same season, the veteran lay. Respect what the evidence is. Get down dog to pike or puppy. You can hold on to your pole if you want to, or you can do it without. Whew. This is also for shoulder and your tricep. So let's go. You're in puppy. Now you want to push those elbows up. Really going into that stretch, into that down dog, pulling your shoulder blades in and basically pushing that back toward your knees. <sighs> 10 seconds left. This is the last upper body work you're gonna do today. <sighs> well, almost. <laughs> but the last shoulder work. <laughs> All right, let's turn around. We'll go into a pike crunches for our lovely abs. Holding on to your pole, but not too much. And then bringing your feet, your ankles towards the pole, quite low. And then bringing it up very high. And slowly lowering. Little break. Remember leg lowers. If your lower body, if your back is lifting up, make sure to keep it down and just do toe taps. And I'm bringing your legs left, down and right. All right, let's do this. Lower, lift and to the side. Turning around into our toe reaches on the pole. Pole is basically in your crotch. <laughs> and from here it's like a scissor. So you have both of your legs here. And then you just switch. And in between, we'll do a little crunch. I guess my pride is my alibi. I'm intoxicated with your look. I'm your new author. I can write your book. Girl, you know that you the main character. If I pull you by your hurt, I mean I care about you. It's ironic how you say y'all don't listen. I say you talk too much, and now you bang bitch. One thing we both know though, S L Y T, I still love you though. Uh -oh. Come here, make a wish. It's 11 11. Yeah, now give me a kiss. Are like you ready? This. Are you ready? Yeah. Turning back with the back towards the pole for the dragon tails. Sorry, dragon flags. So you really want to hold on your pole. You can have straight legs or bent legs or staggered legs. So let's go. Let's do this. Bringing your hips up and then lowering your body in a straight line. 
Then if it's too much weight, stagger your legs or bring your legs like that all the way down. All right, last one. Hanging and raising your legs. Straight or bent. It's up to you. Let's go last minute. Yes. Great job. <laughs> Wasn't too bad, was it? 30 minutes. I definitely got my sweat on. I definitely feel it, but it was amazing. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was amazing. Put both of your feet next to your pole. Inside arm is grabbing. Outside arm is gonna come up. Cup grip and just let yourself fall in, Whew. breathing, letting go of all the stress, <laughs> of all the tension we just created, bringing that leg up, stretching your side, bringing that leg out, letting go of the top arm and just rotating around. Awesome. Let go of your pull. Just turn your hips around and just stretch. Let yourself melt over that front foot. Bend your front knee, step back, runner's lunge. Just, you know, stretching it out a tiny little bit. Both hands in between, bringing that one leg back, deep squat. Maybe stretching your hips out a little bit here. Feels so good. Straightening your knees, let yourself fall in between. Pivot your hips from left to right. Bend your knees a little bit and roll up. Awesome. Other side of the pull. Your inside hand is holding on. Both feet are together. Outside hand is grabbing. In cup grip, letting your hips fall to the side. Inside foot up. Stepping that foot out, bringing you back, twisting you out. Letting you fall over the front leg, twisting your hips to the front as well and just melting. Bending your front knee, stepping back with the with your back leg. On this lunge. Nothing out there could ever stop me from chasing up 
Bringing both hands in between. Bringing that front leg towards your back leg. I'm just gonna move onto my mat a little bit. Lying on your belly. And from here, breathing in. And breathing out, pushing you up, stretching out your belly. And try to breathe into your belly here, letting it expand. Looking up a little bit, rolling your shoulders back. Looking over your right shoulder and back. Looking over your left shoulder and back. All right, bring you down and sitting back on your knees. Just one last stretch. Letting your belly, your ribcage flop in between of your legs. Having your, your hands, your fingertips up so that you can feel a stretch in your shoulder blades, in your shoulders, in your neck. And letting your head, your forehead fall on the mat. Relax your hands. Slowly walk them back. So you're sitting here. <laughs> I thank you so much that you did this work today with me. It wasn't easy, but it was very enjoyable. So let me know how you loved. So let me know how you liked it in the comments down below. Subscribe for more and check out all of the other videos. Thank you so much. Have a super beautiful day ahead, and I will see you soon. Bye.